That's one of my favorite opens that we have here on the show. Whether it's flowers or vegetables here in Southwest Florida, you can grow almost any garden you would like. But along with pretty plants and landscaping comes a lot of pesky pests that we're going to get down to the bottom of today. Right. Because Some really horrible yes. pests, especially on palms. And a lot of people come to South Florida just to see the palms because they feel it's really tropical. Yes. You know? And Stephen Brown, thank you so much because the plant doctor is in today and he's going to doctor you up with a lot of our favorite uh, plants. We've got different kind of well, palms here. Yeah, this is the coconut palm. Look at all this black stuff. This is not what you can while that? you're here. Well, this is the excrement, the poo, so to speak, okay. off oh, insects. Well, I don't know if I yeah, touch you it can then. touch it, it won't <laughs> hurt you. As a matter of there you go. There we go. Yes. As a matter of fact, this is called sooty mole, and there's an insect that infects the back of this that actually is responsible eventually for this sooty mole. Okay. And it's pretty pretty devastating around here. Does this kill the tree then? Or what it what well, what's the it makes it look so bad that some people want to take it up yeah. because they can't stand it. Yeah. Whether or not it kills it, that's still debatable. Okay. All right. So what do we do about it then? Well obviously look at all this stuff. We uh -huh. can't let it stay like this no. or you can, but we can go ahead and treat it. If you do treat it, what you do need is what we call a systemic ins insecticide that will course through this plant. Okay. And when they suck on it, they should die. Okay, all right. But let me show you something else. See Not another one. Oh, sorry, here we go. Not only is it on that palm, <laughs> but look here, you can clearly see it. This is called the Rugo spiral and white fly, just like mm -hmm. what's on the yeah, coconut Yeah, I see that palm. a lot everywhere. You see, you see this white stuff here? Mm -hmm. They're actually embedded, hidden wow. in that white material right there. That's their home. That's their safety nest. Okay, so if you've got a white uh, a smoke looking effect here, yes. really easy to spot it's when you really see them on these spot, trees. Especially when you look up yeah. and you can see the underside of the leaves. And this can actually take over quite a bit. I mean, because when oh, it's yeah, really yeah. badly invested with the white fly, you can really see it yeah. all over. And by the way, it's not only in coconut palms or palms, it's also on uh, trees such as gumbo limbo, black olive. It's on a variety of stuff. Really nasty. Uh -huh. And then what do we do to treat this one? Same thing? As... Same thing. And okay. what we like you to do sometime is not to spray, because the spray can get all in your eyes, okay. but to use, uh, w uh, mix it in water okay. and put it around the roots of the palm. Okay. All right. Easy okay. way to treat it. Easy way to Keep treat our it. landscaping looking, okay. looking nice. And palms got all kind of problems. Look at this one here. This one is a little bit harder to see, but let me show you on this. This is not a coconut coconut right here. This is not the white fly, but this is what we call scale insects, and they do also a nasty job in these. They also bring sooty mold, so scale on this and scale again on this um, spindle palm. That, that's also a problem. Okay. Now, how many different palms do we have here in Florida? Oh, my gosh. We have a, that many, right? A ton? We, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We have, we have quite a lot, quite a variety. We probably have 40, 50 different wow. species of palm. Wow, that's easily, incredible. Easily, easily. Incredible. And in my yard, I have about 10. I have to pay more attention to the you different should. types then. You should. Well, that's not your job. That's my job. Well, I need you to come to my house and doctor them well, up. Well, <laughs> no, you probably <laughs> What in the world is this? Thing. This is a conch. This is a disease called Ganoderma, and it gets stuck to the bottom of the palm right okay. here. And it grows like an ugly wart out of the palm, deadly. Now, do you see this on the oh, outside? Yeah, it yes, looks yes, just yes. like this. Okay. I snapped this off today. Look at this right here. Not a pretty sight. No. But once you see this, whatever palm it's on, mm -hmm. it's a dead palm. Okay. So what causes this? Well, there are little spores that are floating through the air, or the palm picks it up. And it, it's hard to determine how it actually gets it. Yeah. But once you get it, it's a dead nail on the palm. So dead palm. How, what do we do about that? Because we don't want it to die. I mean, we don't want that to well, happen. Well, you know, it's, it's not what you want. It's what is the course <laughs> nature. of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> now, this is one of the incurable disease called Ganoderma. Once okay. it gets it, we don't want you to put a palm back in that spot. But okay. the disease is actually also in the soil. Wow. So it, it, it's, it's in the bottom of the palm, in the roots of the palm, mm -hmm. so it gets into the soil okay. as well. So, so keep all the palms out of this keep your, area. Uh, keep on the lookout for this. And now, yes. what about this one here? Well, that's the same thing. That's okay. just another part uh, of but it's look funny how, it's how it kind of grows pretty, like isn't that. It? Yeah. yeah. And, and we also get these Ganoderma on other uh, trees, such as gumbo limbo, mm -hmm. such as laurel oak. So it's mm -hmm. not just limited to palms, but a different kind okay. of Ganoderma. So deadly to the trees then, not deadly. a good one. Yeah. And then what do we have here? Finally, this is nutritional. This is a, what palm did I take this off of? This is a queen palm. And you can see right here, this is called frizzle top. It's like your hair. Your new, your hair gets Kind of how my frizzle. hair looks in the most yeah, of Florida's weather. Yeah, yes, yes. Like kinda right now. Normally looks. <laughs> <laughs>
So we call it Fresa Top. This is nutritional. It's manganese deficiency. Okay. And when it's starved of manganese, the leaves get all frizzled up, drop to the ground. Yep. The new is that growth. how my hair looks? Yes. Well, not well. <laughs> I have to say it too, to plant doctor. I'm impressed uh, at the, you just look at them and how you know so much. That's why you're the plant doctor, I guess. Well, it takes but. years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, as we close here, what do you got? Okay, another nutritional. This one is magnesium deficiency. A little different from that one, but this is a fan palm. Look at this right here. See a all fan this palm. dead leaf? Like a fan. Yeah, yeah. fan palm. Fan, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. It that? is hot in the studio. Yes. <laughs> so all of this outer edge is dead. <laughs> Look at this is green. So now we know that this here is magnesium Pay attention deficiency. To the, okay. Quite common. All right. Okay, so plant doctor, thank you so much for being here. We always love it when you're in the oh. studio. And if you have clean any table. questions, uh, yeah, table. I know we got to get this off. If you have any questions for Stephen Brown, uh, send them to the plant doctor at brownsh at leadgov.com or go to our website, fox4morningblend.com. And calling all couch potatoes from The Walking Dead to American Idol up next. Steph and I want to know what are you watching these days? Stay with us.